Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing um, a video that I really wanted to do, and it's about it's something Harry Potter related. And this video is about, um, at Walmart they had advent calendars for the first time, and they were like Funko Pop. Um, they were like Funko Pop little um, figurines. And they had like Marvel, and Harry Potter, and they had something else, but I forget what it was. And there's 24 of these, um... There's 24 of these in the set, and I wanted to wait to do this because if somebody didn't get to the advent calendar yet or something like that, I didn't know if they were all the same where every single person that I have in my advent calendar is the same days as a different person. So we're going to get right into it, and I have to tell you right up front that this advent calendar, it was good, but the thing was, was there was two sets where it was the same, well, no, three sets, where it was the same, which was the same character, which was kind of, like, upsetting to me a little bit, and then there was one character that I don't know who they are, because they weren't at the ball, I guess you could say, and it wasn't, um, somebody's date, so these all take place, these characters come from the Yule Ball in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, that's book number four, and like I said, there's 24 characters. So I'm just going to go in order from 1 through 24. <laughs> so if you have, if there's a spoiler alert in here, then don't watch the rest of this video. So let's just get right into it. So the first character was, of course, Harry Potter. Day 2 was, of course, his wife, Jenny. <laughs> Day three was Fleur, or Fleur, I guess that's how you, Fleur, is that how you say her name? I don't know. It's Flow, Floor. I don't know, because they have, they say it weird in the movie. The next one is Victor Crumb. Oops. This is Professor McGonagall for day number five. This is Professor Snape for day number six. Day number seven was, um, I forget how you say this character's name. He was Victor Crumb's head, head master or whatever, however you say it. I forget. I always forget how you say his name. It's like Gor Gorbarov or something like that, I think. I don't know. I can't say his name. These things are so hard to get out of the box. Okay, this is Fred or George. Because they don't really tell you who it is. The next one for day number nine is either Fred or George. Because, of course, you know, they were twins. So they had to put two of the same character in the box. This is, um, I don't know their, I forget their names. I know that they're, there's their twins, and they're the Patel twins, and one went with Harry Potter, and the other one went with Ron Weasley. So, I don't remember their names, though. I can't remember. I know that they're the Patels, or something like that. This is what she looks like for day number 10. Day number 11, obviously the same character, but because they wore two different outfits... It's it's kind of cool because they put a lot of detail into these characters. This is what it looks like. Other than, like, for Fred and George where it's just the same character. I mean, I know they wore, like, the same thing. But you would think that there would be something on them that told you, like, what... Like, an initial... An, an initial showing you who, um... Which one it was instead of just putting the same character in the box twice. This is... Cho Chang, that was the love interest for Harry Potter in this movie. This one for day number 13 is, I think this, and I don't remember her name either. I It's the French headmistress for Fleur School. And this is what, this is what she looks like. And I think that has to be her, to be honest. Like, I thought, well, who's that? I'm thinking, well, it has, like, the only character I think it is is 
headmistress of Fleur School. School. This is Angus Finch. Um, Angus. I think that's how you say his first name. Felch. This is what he looks like. And like I said, like I just love Funko Pop because they put a lot of detail into their characters. This is Ron, obviously. Everybody remembers in that. Um, everybody remembers in that. Um, storyline where he gets the hand-me-down robes. This is Mad-Eye Moody. He was the dark arts professor. Now, this one is my favorite. Because of all, like, the detail that's in it. And this is Albus Dumbledore. He's, like, the favorite one that I like out of all of these characters in this advent calendar. And I know that this... I am filming this after Christmas, and into the new year, so I know, but it's just, like, I just wanted to wait a little bit in case somebody was, like, way behind doing their advent calendar, or if somebody got it for, like, half off or something like that. This is Cedric Diggory. He was the Hufflepuff guy from Hogwarts who got into the Goblet of Fire with Harry Potter. This is Neville Longbottom. He went with Jenny, Ron's sister, to the Yule Ball. Now this character, I don't exactly know who it is because I just my arm's getting tired. I just don't know who it is because I thought it was I I didn't think it was Malfoy because Malfoy was actually um a ferret. He got transfigured into a ferret, so I don't think it's him. And when I watched the movie back, when it was they did like um. Um, the Harry Potter movie marathon for Christmas. It wasn't Fleur's date either, because Fleur's date wasn't blonde. So I don't know who this person is because if they watch, if you watch it back, there's no sign of Malfoy in there except for the fact that he's a ferret in Mad Eye Moody's lap. So I have no idea who this person is. So if you guys know, leave it down in the comments. Because I have no clue who it is. This is Hagrid. He's he's got a lot of detail in him too. Like like I said, Funko Pops have a lot of detail into them. This is Ron. I'm chopping these. This is Ron again. This is um when the party's like dwindling down and he's sitting at a table with Harry. And the two girls they brought, and the two girls look really miserable because they didn't really get a chance to do anything at this party. And of course, the second to last day, the 23rd, was Hermione. I think it's funny how, like, Harry and Ron both have, like, two different things, and then Hermione doesn't. And of course, the last, but last but not least... The last day, the 24th day, was Harry Potter again. So, it was the first day and the last day. And that was when, again, like, the second version of Ron, it was um, when the party was dwind dwindling down. So, that was the advent calendar. I wonder, I don't know if they're going to have these out next year. I do not know because, I mean, these were good. It was just, like, I mean, like, the people who made this, it was, like, you couldn't have made, like, because I don't think you really see Fred and George in the, at the Yule Ball. At least I don't think so. So why put them in it? You know what I mean? Like, they could have got, like, I feel like they could have made, like, they could have did it differently where, like, you had, like, maybe, like, they could have did an advent calendar where it was just, like, the Harry Potter people. So it was just, like, you know, like, Ron, Harry, Hermione, Jenny. They could have did, like, Luna Lovegood and Neville and Dean Thomas and, um, Seamus and stuff like that they could have did. Instead, and, like, some of the professors, and instead of doing, like, the same character, like, twice, especially the, those four right in a row. So see you next time with another video. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.